What is up everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at this right here, right here. The Holy Stone HS360, 16 and up. This is a GPS drone. Let's uh let's get into this. Inside that box is this awesome case which you flip open and you got a little protective foam rubber here on the top and there's the quad itself. Here's one of the batteries. I think it has two batteries with it. The batteries are pretty uh, substantial. I think they're 2000 milliamp hour. Indeed they are. Here's the transmitter and I believe it does. One of these has a wire in it so actually you can just fly it like that with this one here tilted this way a little bit. Yeah all right nice nice. It pulls out in the bottom for the phone phone fits in there here's your little buttons your take off and land and you know all that good stuff here's your photo video your rates your speeds check the quad out here here's another battery it's in the quadcopter itself oh and it's got brushless motors and it's got a, a two axis gimbal here on the front as you can see it there right there wow looks real nice and then of course the stuff and we know what the stuff is right all the goodness it just charges with USB-C cable there's no uh there's actually no charger in there you get a cable some spare props in this little bag and then you got your manual and it has your qr code for the uh for the app and i'm gonna show you the app real quick like the app is called hs fly it's right there there yeah let's turn it on real quick here is the power button right here so it's bound up and it has this nice little display right on the controller in the middle which I thought was kind of a cool uh, a cool feature. It tells you your amount of satellites, your Wi-Fi signal strength, has your battery indicator for your transmitter and for the drone right there and it tells you the GPS is on and to override that I believe you hold in this R button. See now the GPS is off and when the GPS is off you can arm up the motors which I'm going to show you right now by going down and out or down and in, one or the other. It's down and in to arm up the motors when the GPS is turned off and then to go down and in again to disengage the motors. So, yeah, I like that. Uh, there it says low. Then, then it goes to high right there. So, you could actually fly this thing by without using the app because you have your little bit of data right here that tells you your uh your distance and all that stuff here so yeah that's pretty cool actually i kind of like that there's your takeoff and land i don't know what that little circle thing is it might be one of those little features where it goes into orbits or something like that so then there's the tilt for the gimbal okay it has a it's a little bit unique looking it has a it has a button it doesn't it's hard to show it here. You just press the button up on the wheel and the gimbal moves up. Then you pull it down and you see it going down. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. It's not an actually, actually a wheel. It's a, a button that actuates when you press up on it. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a nice little bird there. Brushless motors. Feels, uh, I wonder what that thing weighs. So let's throw the scale in there. It's 279. Okay, so it's over the limit, so you'll have to put your number on there, but yeah, no big deal. All right, I got an idea. Let's go fly it. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to show you the app, right? Oh, we can't forget that. Controls. And there it comes up. You see that? Yeah. Boy, there's not much lag, like most of, the t like most of them are very little lag yeah all right so there it goes now i'm not sure if this thing has a micro sd card slot or not to be honest i did not oh there it is oh yeah i actually put one i actually put one in there because i got this a while back but it was the weather was so bad i didn't get a chance to fly it so there's the micro sd card and it goes in with the label down so we'll get the video recorded on that and I'm going to fly it with the GPS on and then we'll turn the GPS off and fly it around a little bit with the GPS off. So, yeah, let's go out and fly this thing. All right, guys, we're out here with the Holy Stone HS360. We're going to get our little after the unboxing flight in. We're just going to spin it around for a couple of minutes. We'll start some video and we'll take off. 
That's the takeoff button on there. Let me see the... Okay, there's the gimbal going down. I really like this drone. It's pretty neat looking, actually. I'm not sure how many satellites we got. It, just, it says GPS mode on there. Letting her hover around a little bit here just to make sure that we're not going to get any, you know, toilet bowling or any of that type of stuff. There's the high speed. Okay, so that's doing okay. It does that like a lot of these toy GPS drones do that, that, that like aircraft carrier type handling. Not that it doesn't fly, but it floats around. You know what I mean? It has that like floatiness to it. It's not real precise, not real crisp. But that doesn't mean it doesn't work. So, and then here you have your, your orbits and all that stuff. But I'm gonna take it till I get to a bigger place before I do any of that. I just wanna see how stable it is, which you can see it's very stable. It's not moving around one bit, not at all. So yeah, kudos to this on that. And I like the little uh, heads up display here. That's pretty nice on the uh, controller. So you can fly it without using any uh, app or anything like that. And the gimbal does work as you see it going up and down there. So yeah, that's cool. Tells you how much you got left on your memory card. Now, I don't know what that microphone is. I don't know if that's some kind of you could talk to it and all that, which I'm not interested in doing. Let's see how it hovers up there. Got a little dog tracking going on. I went go out straight and it is veering off to the left a little bit or to the right. I'm just getting a, some look of the video here. Yeah, not bad. It's just very floaty. You see how you see that how it floated around? Yeah. But it still flew.
Yeah, it's a nice looking drone, that's for sure. Then we'll take it out by the factory or the river or something and spin it around. But it, yeah, it's very stable, man. Glides great. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later, man. Have a nice day. That's all, folks.